How to install and use IP filter block with uTorrent by jbob.org. Now, we've been doing a few videos and tutorials on different things. So this one here I think is really important because a lot of people are asking, I can't do this. How do you install it? How do you know it's working? Well, we're going to show you. So basically, to get it, come to our website at www.jbob.org and to the left hand side here you're gonna see IP filter block with uTorrent so let's click on to that now you can read basically it's self-explanatory just read it if it makes no sense um, start reading stuff that does make sense if you're too young to understand it get your parents to explain it to you it's not that hard so let's uh, let's just start anyways just the same we're gonna we're gonna go do it we're gonna download IP filter block okay here we go now everyone says oh I don't know how to do this I've been getting requests and emails so basically this is the countdown time zone that we're waiting on now you can go to the premier down premium download by purchasing it it's up to you we would wait the 45 seconds so if you read through our website it's going to tell you to basically wait the 40 right there wait the 45 seconds time for it for the download to begin so some people says I don't see no time wait till the page loads up I honestly thought when I got onto the page it was going to display so I would have to refresh so basically there the time is gone so let's go to the regular download I hate ads that pop up as soon as you click on something just the same we're gonna save the file to our desktop so there we're gonna clear our list here because we're using Firefox minimize that there's our uTorrent IP filter updater so we're gonna double click onto it Okay, I'm not purchasing it because it's a zip file. We're going to extract basically the uTorrent IP filter updater. So we're going to extract that to our desktop. <clears throat> and there it is. Now, before you use the uTorrent IP filter updater, you're going to first want to make sure that you are not logged into uTorrent. Now, if you are, you're gonna to want to right click it and go to exit you know and it might ask you, are you sure say yes or whatever vice versa just make sure you don't have uTorrent running <clears throat> now since it's not running you want to double click onto it now this is going to give you some information as well you can read it but now in this tutorial we're just basically gonna do it for you so there's your updater so we're gonna double click onto the updater now we haven't done ours in a few days so this may take some time uh, we're just gonna let it kick off basically it's connecting to a server on an IP address to get all the information so here it goes now when you downloaded this IP filter you don't need this and you don't need this anymore so we're gonna just delete him say yes keep this on hand you're gonna need the updater probably once a month once you know every two months depending on how much you download so make sure that you keep this on hand because this is what you're gonna need you know for when you need to update it so put it somewhere put in a folder your documents and make sure you do it once a month now we just finish installing all the updates to your uTorrent now you're gonna want to start uTorrent so we're gonna start ours ours takes a bit of time because we have a lot of software running in our backgrounds that we don't want to inform too many people about that we have this type of software now it should have kicked off no it's still going we're just waiting here we go 
it's right there so we're going to double click onto it it's going to take some time for it to open up again we have different types of software so we can't be tracked so just bear with us in mind we have to just blame it on our programmers here we go now you're going to want to go to your options and you want to go to your preferences and you want to go to your advanced settings and you want to scroll right down now you can see everything that you're doing but there's the IP filter it's enabled it's on true perfect the only time it will come on to false is usually when you um, kick off the software with uTorrent running so as soon as you see this on the true you're good to go all the information is in there and it's running so it's all up to date that's how you know it's working so that's how you use the IP filter block with uTorrent by jbob.org so if you found our information useful please come to our website at jbob.org and if at all possible make a donation alright have a great day